Hello friends, I hope that you are well. I have another packing video for you today because tomorrow I am heading to Croatia for the first time. I am heading on a catamaran sailing boat for a week with med sailors going to be doing the Croatia discovery route from Split. I am so incredibly excited. I went to Greece with them last year, had literally one of the best weeks of my entire year. But there's a slightly bigger challenge for me this time because I'm flying EasyJet and I have to pack everything carry on only. And EasyJet's current hand luggage guidelines are that you are only allowed one bag. The good thing is, is that there's no weight limit on it. So I can basically stuff this bag up as much as possible. Not that they ever weigh it anyway, let's be honest. But this is where my new rolly suitcase from Rip Curl really comes in handy because it's pretty much the biggest size that you can get that still fits in within the hand luggage restrictions. So I'm going to be sharing with you exactly what I'm packing for my nine days total summer holiday to Croatia. As usual, we're going to start with my clothes. I've categorized my clothes this time into evening wear, day wear and stuff that could be both just so I know that I have a nice mix of everything. I have one, two, three, four outfits specifically for the evening. This is my party play suit which I've had for years and I think I will actually wear it on this trip because it is just perfect for a nice summer holiday night out. My party shorts, definitely bringing these ones out for a 12. This is another new purchase that I got from ASOS. It's like a dusky pale blue boiler suit with long sleeves and I think because of the long sleeves it means that it's definitely an evening piece because otherwise I think I might get a bit hot in the daytime in this. I'm 100% bringing this my black floral maxi skirt with a big slit down the side. I think it's just perfect for a European evening out. Not with this top because this is my bra but um, yeah the skirt alone I think is a good one. One, two, three, four, five outfits that could be either evening or daytime. My all-time faves, Jesus trousers from Rip Curl. We all know that I love these ones, I wear them all the time. Here are some more floaty trousers that I got from Element when I was in Australia. And I think because these are actually a bigger item, I'm gonna wear these on the plane, so I'm not actually gonna be packing these. Um, but yeah, then I still get to wear them when I'm in Croatia. I don't think I'll be wearing this black bra with this play suit, but this is a new one that I got from Pretty Little Thing. No pockets though. Oh, it's so annoying when things don't have pockets. You've all seen me wear this a million times. It's my blue stripey play suit from City Beach in Australia. Great striped pair of shorts from Nu Nui. And then I've got one, two, three, four uh, daytime play suits and dresses, as well as a couple of pairs of shorts and a few tops. This stripey crop top is from Topshop and this dungaree dress is from Rip Curl. This cute floaty white play suit is from Billabong. This is just for like going over the top of bikinis and stuff. This is a floaty palm print play suit from Rip Curl. The absolute classic little black play suit that I'm pretty sure every single girl has from H&M. I've got these stripy beach shorts and these funky patterned beach shorts. And then as far as tops go to partner with all of those bottoms and shorts that I just showed you, I've got this black strappy top. I've got the same thing in white, this pale pink strappy top and you can pull those out to have them dangle down as well but I'm not too sure how I feel about the dangly bits. I'm also going to bring this yellow top in the same style. Of course I have my Let's Go Bananas t-shirt. I got a nice photo on the boat in Greece last year with my Let's Go Bananas t-shirt and I do intend on recreating it. Yes. And finally this cute black t-shirt which is actually a body so it has one of these nappy bits, um, which I haven't actually done up right now because I, uh, I can't be bothered. This is definitely my smartest white crochet strappy top, definitely one for the evening. I'm going to try and pack it all into these two cubes. A few moments later. Okay, I didn't manage to get them just in the two packing cubes. I've got them in a third as well, but that's okay. I still reckon that will be all right. I'm not gonna stick my pajamas in a packing cube because I know as soon as I get to Croatia they're just gonna be coming straight out and going on my bed so they can just kind of live on the top here. Now as for my swimwear, this is arguably the most excessive part of what I'm packing but I, I personally think it's completely justified because it's a sailing holiday and I'm gonna be in a piece of swimwear every single day. So I do have a lot. I have one, two, three matching bikinis and then I have four or five 
mismatched bikini so just like a bunch of tops and a bunch of bottoms and then I have one two three four swimsuits so as I said it is excessive I have been asked quite a lot to do a store my collection video I'm not going to go into that right now but I will do that for you when I'm on the boat I'm going to do a boat tour and swimwear collection video so look out for that one but I'm going to pack all of my swimwear into this blue packing cube here all fit I'm gonna have to put some of it into this blue packing cube here. Both blue packing cubes have swimwear in it but that's okay as long as it all fits in the end I will be a happy gal. So this side is now pretty full I don't think I'm gonna try and stuff anything more into this clothing side. Actually, yeah, I reckon my underwear might fit in there as well. As for my underwear, speaking of, I'm bringing nine pairs of underwear and two pairs of socks. In fact, why am I even bringing socks? I'm not even bringing trainers. No, I'm gonna bring socks, because you never know. <laughs> you never know. I think I might even wear a pair of socks on the plane, because I'm only gonna bring my books. I really don't think I need any other pair of shoes on this trip. It's gonna be either barefoot or but I'm still gonna bring two pairs of socks. My feet might get cold, but that's just all going in this little packing cube here. Perfect. Oh, and laundry bag can fit in that underwear bag as well. Beauty. So as for the bras that I'm taking, obviously this one, which you have seen throughout the video. I think I might have mentioned before, I hate wearing underwired bras. I just don't wear them. I find them way too uncomfortable. All of my bras are these kind of low impact sports bras. Um, and I recently got a bunch of these ones from Gymshark and I really like them because they've got the low back. They have a thin strappy strap, which if you're a big booby girl, you will know that this is very hard to come by. Um, and they're adjustable as well. So I can shorten them and make it tighter or I can loosen them if I want, but it's just the softest, softest material and I absolutely love it. So anyway, I've got this one in black. I've got it in this peachy coral shade. And I also have this beautiful dusky blue one but I think I just recently put it in the wash, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to take it, damn it. I'm bringing this white one, which is from Lululemon. And finally, I'm bringing one of my Gymshark ones, so I've decided to go with this lilac one. I feel like the lighter colored ones are just easier to work with. Now, I am bringing my mask and snorkel. They do provide these on the boats, but it's just nice when you have your own to bring your own. Mine are from Aqualung, and they're just really, really good quality, and I enjoy using them. As for camera equipment that I will be bringing, I will be bringing my dome, which was a controversial decision on my backpacking trip because I didn't use it that much. However, I know that I use this a lot on this kind of trip, so it's coming. This is the device that allows me to capture photos photos over and under the water at the same time. Of course, it's my GoPro that goes into the GoPro dome. I'm still using the GoPro Hero 5 Black Edition because it's still going strong for me. I do think that when they release the GoPro Hero 8 that I will probably upgrade to that though because this one seems some good days. Currently, it's on a nifty little tripod mount which uh, is quite good because I can just kind of set it up anywhere. But when I'm swimming, I will use the floaty stick because that just means that one, I can attach it to my wrist and two, if I drop it, it's not gonna sink to the bottom of the water. So this is essential. And also for cameras, I'm bringing my Canon G7X, which is so battered, like it actually doesn't work very well at all anymore. But at the airport, I'm going to be buying the DJI Osmo Pocket, which I plan for it to be basically my new vlogging camera. I don't know if any of you have heard of it, but I will show you in my vlog when I'm traveling to Croatia exactly what that is. But I do want to vlog my journey tomorrow, so I'm gonna be bringing the Canon G7X in the morning and on the plane and stuff. And then I'm also, of course, bringing my Lumix GH5, which I'm recording on right now. There you are. Well, minus the tripod. I'm not bringing the tripod, just the camera. And that's it for cameras, other tech equipment that I'm bringing. And obviously, please do bear in mind, I am a travel vlogger. It is my job to document this trip by video. And it's not normal to bring this much tech equipment. Just a quick disclaimer. I hate using microphones because I just find them a massive faff, but it is essential sometimes when the audio is just so bad. So this is my Rode uh, Lavelier mic. So it's one that you can just attach to you here. This is my Zoom H1, which I will be bringing. Uh, <laughs> 
which is really fun because it's one of these and I look super professional when I use it. But the problem with this one is maybe perhaps it's too professional, like I'm just a vlogger, I'm not a proper TV presenter, so sometimes it's a bit funny when I use it, but I do enjoy using it. Anyway, those are my two mics. I've obviously got my chargers for all of these cameras, and then I'm bringing two uh, adapters. I actually only need one. Because I use this nifty thing, which just plugs into the wall, and it means that I only need one plug. So I do only need one of these. Oh, this one needs to be switched to Euro. There we go. Um, yeah, I only need one of these, but I always like to bring more than one because there's always at least one person who's forgotten their adapter and I like to lend my things to be a good person. And then in this little wallet, I just keep a bunch of things like spare SD cards, uh, spare batteries, a couple of random other bits in there. I don't know, just the little bitty bits that you don't want to lose. And I stuff as much of my tech gear into this purple packing cube so that I can keep it all together because obviously there's quite a few like little bitty things. In here, I have my tech isolate towel for two, which is my humongous beach towel that folds up pretty small. Like it doesn't fold up as small as a big microfiber towel. However, it's a lot more luxurious. It's really nice just to wrap this massive thing around you. Um, on the boat, they do provide us with bath towels, so I don't need to bring my own bath towel. It's just this. This is my little fold away bag, which opens out to be fairly big. And this becomes my laundry bag. I always bring this with me on trips just so I can separate my dirty clothes from my clean ones. And this is just one of these tote shopper bags. Where did I even get this from? Oh, I picked this up in one of the supermarkets when I was in Sweden. Uh, yeah, if I do any grocery shopping, I don't want to use any plastic bags, so that can go in here. Also, this can just be a bag if I need to take something anywhere when I'm going off the boat. Like, most of the time, I won't, but if I do for whatever reason, I can stick it in this bag. This is my first aid bag, which a lot of you have seen before. Uh, nothing has really changed. Uh, everything that I keep in here is just like tissues, Imodium, Dyrolite, Ibuprofen, hay fever tablets, condoms. I've got some tweezers. I've got some blister plasters, regular plasters, just basic things, which I tend to just bring everywhere. I'm bringing this hat along with two pairs of sunnies, um, but I'm gonna wear this hat on the plane tomorrow, so it's one less thing that I have to pack. All of my little bralettes and things can fit into this packing cube, which is actually far too big for just the bralettes, but that's okay. The beauty of packing cubes is that they just squash down no matter what you put in them. I'm also, don't laugh at me, I'm bringing my Gracefit UK resistance band again. I know I said I bought this on the last trip and I didn't use it. Well, I'm bringing it on this one because I intend on using it. We'll see. That can go also in the clothing. All of my clothing has fitted into one side then. It is overflowing a little bit, but that's okay. So now it's just a case of fitting everything else I have into this other compartment that's slightly smaller, but it's okay because there's a little less stuff. So let's start with the toiletries because I haven't gone through them with you yet. Obviously because I'm bringing all of this into my carry-on, everything all the liquids that I bring need to be under 100 mil. Otherwise, I'm not gonna get through security. And I know you need a clear bag and I'll pick one of those up from security, but the only thing I had currently with me is just one of these freezer bags. So I'm gonna put all of my liquids in here for now, just to kind of see what we've got. So in here already, we've got my little porter perfume little thing. So I've loaded this little pocket rocket up with my favorite scent. We of course have my shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel. I have dispensed all of these liquids into my 100 ml squeezy bottles. We've got my daily face moisturizer in this little tub that I bought from Superdrug. And we've got my daily face wash in this little bottle that I also got from Superdrug. I'm of course bringing my deodorant. I'm bringing a little 30 sun cream. This one's gonna be for my face. Obviously I need sun cream for my body, but I need a lot for the week. I'm gonna need more than 100 mils. And so sun cream is something that I plan on picking up at the airport. You know, I've already gone through security, so I'll pick up a big bottle then. And also at the airport, I'm going to pick up a big bottle of body moisturizer, because when you're in the sun every day, after you shower, I don't wanna be getting dry skin, I wanna keep nice and moisturized and I go through a lot of that stuff. It's not really the kind of thing I wanna dispense into 100 mils, cause I just know I'm gonna go over. So sun cream and body moisturizer are two things that I'm picking up at the airport. 
I'm gonna be bringing some BB cream. This is pretty much instead of foundation on the nights out. I just want something a little bit lighter because it's a summer holiday. But on the whole, I'm not bringing too much makeup with me. We've got my mascara, my concealer, and a little lipstick. And the final thing to go in the liquids bag is just this little travel sized toothpaste. I have a bamboo toothbrush specifically for travel and I keep it in this nifty little case that I bought from Superdrug. I got both the toothbrush and the case from Superdrug. Going back to makeup, I'm also bringing bronzer, highlighter, and this nice cracked pot of eyeshadow as well. But also in this toiletries bag that's not liquid, we've got my razor. I use this travel razor from Venus. I am very, very unfortunately due on my period tomorrow, the day that we fly out. Uh, so I'm gonna be bringing my menstrual cup which I used for the first time last month. <sighs> Honestly, I wasn't the biggest fan. It didn't go quite to plan. I'm bringing it just in case, but please don't hate me. I'm bringing a bunch of tampons. This is because it's only my second month trying to use the menstrual cup and I just don't want to risk it on a freaking bikini holiday. When I tried it out for the first time, I was traveling, but I was like, I was wearing clothes, so I kind of got away with it if I had a bit of an accident. Whereas there's no getting away with it if I have an accident using the menstrual cup on this trip. So yeah, I'm bringing the menstrual cup, but I'm also bringing a massive stash of tampons. Why, why, why would it time itself like this? Like I've been home for ages. I could have had it at any of this point, but no, Christian, when you go on med sailors, that's when you're gonna have it. Now I'm gonna keep my toiletries out for now because I'm gonna be using a few of these overnight before I leave. Oh, I'm gonna be using some of my electricals as well. But what I can pack now is my Tessellate towel. That can slot in there. And this bag can go in here as well. My mask and snorkel. That can slot down there. We can put my first aid kit in there. I can put my GoPro dome in there. And my sunnies. Just gonna stick a couple of these tampons in my bum bag. Oh yes, would you like to see my new bum bag? I know you can only bring one item of luggage on EasyJet, which will be this one. However, you can normally get away with bringing something really small, like a fanny pack or something. So I bought this new one from ASOS. The brand is HXTN Supply. Uh, it's really small to be honest, not overly practical. But the only things I want to carry in here is like my phone, my passport, my purse, my camera, and a couple of emergency tampons in case I start when I am in transit, let's say. Oh, and I've got some Vaseline in here as well. And you know what, even though the bum bag is not big, it's big enough to fit those things. And so I'm actually a big fan recently of just wearing the bum bags as like a side sling bag like this. I like it like that. If I'm honest, I think I've packed as much as I can right now before I go to bed, um, but I'm gonna pick this up first thing in the morning. I have to leave it quarter to 7 a.m. but I'm gonna get up at like 5.30 or 6 o'clock so I'll pick this back up then and just show you how I'm finishing off the packing in the rest of this suitcase so see you in the morning. Good morning everybody it's 6.30 a.m. and I am ready to pack the final pieces into my backpack and let you know a couple of things which I've changed so one thing I've changed is I've taken out my tessellate towel because it was just too bulky um, and I've swapped it with another towel that I have which is not quite as luxurious, it's much thinner and not as big as well, but it will do the job. I've also taken out a few of my swimsuits. So I now only have one swimsuit because I was thinking, I'm mostly gonna be in a bikini because I'm gonna be tanning all day and I'm gonna wanna tan my belly. And the swimsuits do end up being quite bulky. So yes, I've taken three of those out as well. As for the toiletries, I've swapped bags. I did have that blue iridescent one, but I've swapped it for just a clear bag. The reason being is that it's flatter and it just packs a little bit nicer than the other one. I've used my deodorant this morning and this one is ready to be put away. So obviously when I go through security at the airport, I'll be opening this up, grabbing that plastic bag and those will be my liquids. My electricals bag is absolutely overflowing. Um, I'm gonna take out a couple of things which aren't as bitty and just put them 
loose in my bag because they're not all going to fit in this packing cube. Let's hit this one up, stick it in here. We've got this, which I obviously showed you yesterday, my multi adapter. It has four UK plugs and then two USB things on the top. Let's see if we can squeeze these little things in. Uh, that can go there. It's like playing a game of Tetris, it's just trying to make it all fit in this side of things. Like the clothes is easy because they can just all squash down, whereas this side I just have everything which is a really awkward shape. My hard drives, I want them to be quite protected, so I'm going to stick them in between some of my clothing. Yeah, so they're just a little bit cushioned. Okay, I think that's for the inside of the bag. That's all good. Goes up like this. And then that goes like this. This is my laptop sleeve. Oh my god, I don't know if this is going to fit in here because that's absolutely bursting. Wait, let me release the compression straps. Oh, do you know what? I don't trust that there. I know that's the laptop sleeve, but. I don't trust the fact that that's on the outside. When it's this full, I have a new plan. You missed the laptop. I'm just gonna go in the middle there. There we go. And there we go. Woo, there's the bag. It's a good job they don't weigh these hand luggage bags anymore because that is heavy. And then, as well as that, I'm just bringing this, my bum bag, which I'm going to wear as a crossbody bag. And in here, we literally just have my phone, which has my boarding pass on it, my passport, my purse, um, my camera, like my little camera, and um, some headphones, some Vaseline, a couple of tampons, and that's it. Hat's going on the head. Righto, really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I make it to the airport on time and I don't get stuck in traffic and I will see you in the next video. Bye!